This baby right here is two years old, he's severely malnourished. The little boy that you see with malnutrition right here, he's seven years old. I told him three times, if she doesn't go today, she'll die. We are in elastic. This is elastic. I know that you guys probably have seen it sometime before. Uh, but anyway, we had a young boy that was from elastic. His name is John Mulbert. And it's, uh, it's a boy that Barbara knows very well. And he's from elastic. And Barbara did the best, you know, to take care of him at the Jesus Healing Center. We gave him a lot of care. Really thought that he would live, but he did die. And so this clinic today is in his, his memory in the memory of John Wilbear. And we thought he could make it, but God took him, but we did the best we could. It's all we can do is do the best we can. So today, when we're treating those people, you know, as Mother Teresa said, you treat each patient as if it was Jesus. And so we give them the very best of care. And so today I see they're already started coming, so we're gonna get to work, unpack, get everything set up, get your personal things set in your tent, then we'll start sending up the providers, and then we'll meet again. So we're doing this today in a memory of John Wilbear, and we hope that, pray that some people get saved, and people get healed, and people get helped, and we can do a lot for these people, and the poor people here in Lastic, okay? Yes. Amen. Let's just say a little word of prayer while we're here. <laughs> Father, we just come to you, Lord, in the name of Jesus, and we thank you, God, for a safe trip. Lord, we know Bobby is on the way. He's coming late, God, with one of the team members, but Lord, you gave us a safe trip, God. You even got us here with a, a flat tire, and we didn't have far to walk. God, we hold this clinic today, Lord, first of all, in your honor, and also, Lord, in the honor of little Jean Maubert, who is from this village. And Lord, bless our partners who helped us today. Bless these people, Father. Give us wisdom, Lord, and let us treat each patient as if it was you, Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for everything. In Jesus' name, amen. You know, doing these clinics, we always find people who are suffering. And unfortunately, we didn't find John Robert soon enough. Um, we were able to touch him in, in the ways that, that we did, but now his story is out there and it's, it's opening doors for other people to be helped. Elastique. <laughs> There are multitudes of malnourished and starving children who live in Haiti. Babies and children who, if not helped, will join the hundreds who are dying daily. Lack of food, clean water, Sanitary conditions and medical care mean children under the age of five are at the highest risk. Love a Child medical teams are reaching out to these people who have nothing and are giving them hope. Hope to survive, hope to live, and hope to have good health. Love a Child clinics provide assistance to these impoverished people who have never seen a doctor or received medical care. We need your help now. $50 sponsors 50 children to visit the medical clinic. $100 sponsors 100 children. $20 provides a family a complete package of medicine. And $1,000 provides a clinic for an entire village. Will you hear the cry of the poor now and allow your heart to be touched? 
Remember, $50 sponsors 50 children to visit the clinic, $100 sponsors 100 children, $20 provides a complete family pack of medication, and $1,000 provides a clinic for an entire village. Please call the number on your screen now or write today and say, I want to help the hurting children of Haiti. Oh, 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 Madam Chrysela. Where are you? I said, I know her. Oh, oh John, oh, John Robert, mommy. We? Oui? Oh, John. Where are you? Welcome. Madam, we will read on Pill John Robert Murray. Okay. Okay. You got T Moon Law? The T Moon Clinic Law? Yeah. Let me see. Sherry. Hey, Sherry. But John Robert Mama's here. And you know, we dedicate this uh, clinic this week to his, to his honor. You can just see the pain in her face. Her pain's in her face. I know it. We regret now. Come here, T Moon Ugain, qui vive. She had six, now she has five. I, I remember Sherry, she sold everything she had to try to buy anything he needed for his health. And she sold the bed, she sold a chair, she sold everything for money. Everything. They're trying to help a little John Robert. And, and they loved him so much and he's gone. Now but this little girl, do you see that she's got malnutrition? She's got malnutrition. Yes. Oh, so bad. Malnutrition. And you see the importance of medical care out here in the middle of nowhere. How important this mobile clinic is. It's life and death for some people. Wow. Very great, madam. There's five kids to take care of in the middle of nowhere with no husband. I can't believe it. Ute Pasi La Clinic Radeja Kunya. Okay. Let me go make sure she's got some perfect. Okay, Tali, my best search and we'll get perfect for baby, okay? Um, let, okay? Let, to say cereal for baby too, okay? smile. <laughs> Should I want to give you a special gift? Our new release book, Love is Something You Do. This book is full of stories of children here in Haiti, stories of faith, stories of adventure, and even back from our life in the beginning when Sharon and I was born up to present day. And of course, the first chapter is called the rat shack. I fasted and prayed 21 days just on water. But about the 13th day, I looked up at one o'clock in the morning and I seen a vision. What did I see? You must request the book. For your free copy of Bobby and Sherry Burnett's new book, Love is Something You Do, simply give your gift of any amount and request the book. Call the number on your screen, write to the address or go to the website and give your gift now. Remember, to receive your free copy of Bobby and Cherry's new book, Love is Something You Do, simply give your gift of any amount and request the book. My name is Debbie Click, and I'm from the Houston, Texas area. My husband and I have supported Love a Child for some years, and for one reason that's very simple, when we are born into this life, we are born into a family with a mom and dad and brothers and sisters and cousins and aunts. But when we're born into the family of God, we're born into our forever family. And we have new brothers and new sisters and new aunts and uncles and grandma and grandpas. And we support Love a Child because they understand that all of the family of God are our family. Here in the country of Haiti, it can be overwhelming because we think maybe we don't have enough to help or enough to make a difference. But the little bit that everybody does makes a difference to one person. And perhaps we can't take care of a whole village, but we can provide food for one family for the month, or we can help to sponsor a clinic, or we can give some of our time to help those. So it doesn't have to be a lot. It just has to be from our heart for love for the people. Ute Sotikikote. 
Bois pen? Bois pen? Bois pen, I say, on the air? Come be team again. Sink? Marasa? No. No? You pa Marasa? No. Mikila Ajle? Deza. Deza? He's two years old? Mikila Ajle? Ena. Ena? Deza? Come here, baby. He's two years old. Oh my gosh. Oh, he's skin and bones. Oh. Lika Kompe? Lika Mache? Li Mache? Oh, Li Piti. Vous voulez dire même le tuyau Oui. Qui ça les mange Il n'a pas mangé, non Il n'a pas mangé Ce bébé ici, il est 2 ans. Il est sévèrement malnourrit. Sévèrement malnourrit. Il est de la montagne aussi, où nous faisons la clinique. Mais il est venu aujourd'hui avec une sévère malnutrition. Donc, nous allons faire en sorte qu'il soit mis dans notre programme de l'enfant malnutrition, pour qu'il puisse grandir. Et sans ça, il va mourir. You know, John Robert, the little boy that we tried to help, we came too late for John Robert, and he died. But there is hope for this little boy because his mom brought him to the clinic here today. We're going to give our best shot to save his life, and we believe that we can because we came here in time. I'm Dr. Debbie, and I'm from New Jersey, and I come to the Love a Child Mobile Clinics. This is my fifth one because I really just support what Love a Child does, everything they do. Um, we can give them some relief and some short-term care here, but Love a Child takes care of everything. Um, but then too also, even if we just t give them a little bit of care and a little bit of love, I just, you know, we pray that, this, that they will know God's love from this and that this is all from Jesus and from God. It's not from us. Well, may God bless you to give you a word from here in Elastic Haiti, deep in the interior of Haiti. And you know, we're here in the Mobile Clinic, and when they all come, they dress in their Sunday clothes. They've done this for years in Haiti. They just dress in their, the very best they have. They come here. But I just want to give you a word before I explain what we're doing here. This is the last part of our mobile clinic they come to where, where we, we pray for them and lead some to Christ and pray for people give away little gifts. But, you know, the Bible says, Jesus said, when you have done it, the one of the least of these little ones, ye have done it unto me. So here we are, you and I together, you're praying, you've been helping financially with our medical mobile clinics. We're partnering together and we're actually, you think we're doing this to the children and people that hate it, we are. But we're actually doing it under Jesus himself. That's powerful. Matthew 25 is a word for today. Let me explain to you. This is the last part everybody comes to. I got Joseph over here who prays and I pray. And this is the family. But Sherry just put him in our malnutrition program down there in our Love a Child compound because he's malnourished. So he'll be part of that program. And also, this, this family here, this is the bag of medicine they get. This is so heavy. It's very hard to lift. It must weigh 15, 20 pounds. Inside it is cold medicine, cough medicine, diarrhea medicine, vitamins, warm medicine. It also has in this bag rice and a special milk for the babies. Then also we give them a Joyce Meyer, a little book. Joyce Meyer sent these down for us to give away in our clinics. They love these books. They're inspirational, they're a blessing. Thank you, Joyce Meyer. We have County engineering nuts and we give away to every one of our clinics. And then we, we give away baby dolls, we give away sandals. It's just a blessing because love is something that you do. And by the way, for those of you who give an offering to help feed the children and help in the medical clinic, help here in Haiti in any way, we want to give you a gift of our newest book, Love is Something You Do. And believe me, people can't set it down. They love reading that book. But God bless you from a word for the mission field here in Haiti today. God bless you. There are multitudes of malnourished and starving children who live in Haiti. Babies and children who, if not helped, will join the hundreds who are dying daily. Lack of food, clean water, 
Sanitary conditions and medical care mean children under the age of five are at the highest risk. Love a Child medical teams are reaching out to these people who have nothing and are giving them hope. Hope to survive, hope to live, and hope to have good health. Love a Child clinics provide assistance to these impoverished people who have never seen a doctor or received medical care. We need your help now. $50 sponsors 50 children to visit the medical clinic. $100 sponsors 100 children. $20 provides a family a complete package of medicine. And $1,000 provides a clinic for an entire village. Will you hear the cry of the poor now and allow your heart to be touched? Remember, $50 sponsors 50 children to visit the clinic. $100 sponsors 100 children. $20 provides a complete family pack of medication and $1,000 provides a clinic for an entire village. Please call the number on your screen now or write today and say, I want to help the hurting children of Haiti. Hi, my name is Vicki Evans and I'm from Houston, Texas. I'm a children's pastor and uh, was invited to this place, Love a Child, here in Lastic, uh, for the very first time, actually, by a friend. And uh, though I've done missions around the world, I am just overwhelmed at how amazing this whole organization operates. Here in this clinic, you don't have to be a professional because I am certainly not a professional, but uh, there are so many things you can volunteer to do. There's so many people doing things and, and uh, just working in the pharmacy and just helping, just picking up trash. Anything that there is to do to glorify God's kingdom is what we want to do because after all, that's what it's all about, right? It's glorifying His name and doing all things with excellence in everything we do. Hi, I'm Barbara McManus. I'm the medical administrator at Love a Child Jesus Healing Center. Uh, it's just so such an important thing for us to come into the, the outer areas of, of Haiti because the people just have no way to get down or it's so difficult for them to get down. We're not always able to help everyone, uh, but there's one thing that we know we can do is we can share the gospel of Jesus Christ with them. Uh, they go from our clinic to the pharmacy area and then from there they go to uh, an area where we do evangelism and tell them about the gospel of Christ, tell them about Jesus and how he loves them and how we love them and that's how we show the love of Christ is through this mobile clinic and that's what leads them to, to Jesus. And that gives them the hope that they need, that's, that's really all that we have is we have hope in Christ. Yeah, he understands. See, I told him three times, if she doesn't go today, she'll die. And I said, if she doesn't die, she'll have a stroke. Si ou pas prale kunya, ou va get stroke, ou bien, what mui? What mui? So Pat, explain to us again, what's the matter with the mom and why we have to send her to the emergency hospital? So she's just, just had a baby, and now her blood pressure is, it's too, 46 over 145. With 246 a, over 145. Mm. And she's symptomatic with this. She's dizzy. She has a headache. Mm -hmm. She has dizzy, headache, everything. Is, and she is to the point where she could easily have a stroke or a heart attack or a seizure and not survive this. So a stroke, heart attack, seizure, not survive. And how many children? Again, one, two, three, four, six, six, six. So, now, the, our clinic is closed today in Bumbury Inn because of a holiday, so Barbara, we're going to send her to the 24-hour care, right? Yes. Yes. Chris Batus, which is right near our clinic. So, you'd go ahead and take care of her. I will go get some money to send her to the, down to the clinic. Then, après ça, I'm going to go to the doctor to the clinic. Okay? Do you understand? But the doctor to the clinic is always taking the medicine and not taking the medicine. Because if you take the medicine for one week, you don't take the medicine and you don't take the medicine. All right, this is, this is what happens here in the clinic. And a lot of times it's too late, but just think, we came here just in time, we believe, to save this mom. She would, she was way up in the mountain, she would have either had a stroke or she would have died. And she's got five kids. She just had a new baby, 
She just had a new baby a month ago, and the father's here. Just imagine if she had not come. I had a pastor who had a church group with me one time. He made me so angry. He had a wonderful church group. The church group had removed a tumor from a baby's chest. They pulled teeth. They, they did so many things. And they helped a whole village. And the pastor went by. And as he saw someone, his own church member operating, removing a, a tumor of a baby, he said, this is just like putting a Band-Aid on a cancer. I tell you, I was so mad at that pastor. That baby would have died if we would not have been there. And you can't tell that mom that that was just like putting a Band-Aid on a cancer. If you can save one life in a mobile clinic, it's worth it all. Because some children are going to lose their mother or their father, or mother father is going to lose their child. So today, it was important that this mom be here today so we can send her out to get that care that she needs to save her life. Thank you for helping us. Will you hear the cry of the poor now and allow your heart to be touched? $50 sponsors 50 children to visit the clinic. $100 sponsors 100 children. $20 provides a complete family pack of medication. And $1,000 provides a clinic for an entire village. Please call the number on your screen now or write today and say, I want to help the hurting children of Haiti. Wow, what a nice place. I mean, this is just gorgeous. This is beautiful and it's so nice out here and after seeing his relationship with his mom, I would want to go home too, yeah. you know. And you know, remember when he went to church and wanted to sing and sing, he wanted to come back home so he could sing in the church choir and oh, it just brings me joy to know that, that he's no longer suffering and he's now happy and no more pain. He can walk without, without that painful lump that he had. And, it makes me so happy knowing that he's he's in a better place. This is John Wilson. Uh, he's seven years old. He looks like he's maybe three. He's got marasmus malnutrition. He's got the barrel-shaped chest. He's got little tiny skinny arms. This little baby is seven. This little baby is seven years old. Seven years old. Look at him. Look at his little sad face, his little tiny arms. There's no weight on his body. There's three children under him. His father is a poor farmer. His father says, what can I do? My gardens don't grow. I can't grow anything. I don't have any crops to feed my family. Je fais dossier à moi mal levé mal levé à la veille pour y bailler médicaments pour y bailler manger et y a aussi un bon cob tout pour monter descendre pas y bailler un cob pour payer une paye moto à l'étourner. The little boy that you see with malnutrition right here, he's seven years old. Imagine that. But we're going to get him in a malnutrition clinic program. We're going to take good care of him. But uh, we've been saving. We saved these back before we came. And this is what we call our emergency family packs. That means if we're, if we're uh, closing the clinic or running real low, we don't have anything at all to give them and we're closing the clinic and we've still got moms, we could take those mothers inside the church and every mother will get a family pack like this of medicine. It's got all kinds of medicines. It's got iron medicine, B-complex, Visine for your eyes. It's got Band-Aids and gloves, rubber gloves, and medicine for babies. It's got cough and cold medicine for adults and children, pain medicine for adults and children, vitamins, and just much more, scaby medicine. And so every one of these family packs is something that these mothers would love to take back home and go to the mountains. And you can sponsor one of these for just $20. Imagine a mom going way back in the mountains and having this medicine to take back to her oh, family. No, sure. I tell you, this family pack, you know, they can never, never, never pay everybody, it. Never. they can never afford this. But for $20, you may want to sponsor one family pack or five family packs or more. 
but it will bless a family so much who has no medical help whatsoever. Then of course, please pray about this. $50 will sponsor 50 children, 50 people, 50 children to come to the clinic, a dollar a child for all of this. $100 would sponsor 100 children to come to the clinic, 100 people to come and for a dollar a person to receive all of this. And of course, those that God has blessed, we're asking you to help sponsor. This is, a, this is the third day of the clinic here in Mobile. This is the last day. Oh my. People come early in the mornings at daylight. But for $1,000, you can sponsor an entire Mobile Medical Clinic for $1,000. Help literally save lives. But the number is on your screen. Call right now. It's toll free. It won't cost you anything. Call and give on your credit card. It'll make it so much easier. Make it easy. Just give online on your computer. The ease of giving online. How much you want to give. Or you may say, Bob Michelle, I want to make an automatic monthly deductible. They can set that up for you. And what God puts on your heart. Or you may write a letter and put a check in the mail. Now, for everyone who writes and gives some help on one of these amounts for the Mobile Medical Clinic, sure and I'm going to send you a gift, a gift of our newly released book that's out now called Love is Something You Do. So give to this, meet one of the needs, let God use you. I want to give you a book that's going to bless you back. Please call the day, write the day, or give online, and we'll send you back a thank you letter thanking you with a picture inside. God bless you. Love is something that you do. I don't think my work was left unfinished. I feel like during the last weeks that, that we cared for him and gave him the love that he needed was one step closer for him finding the Jesus that he needed. He, he needed that extra love and that extra comfort to go home. That's, I think that's why God brought him to love a child. It's definitely um, touching, you know. When he was alive, we visited his home and his family and met his mother and seeing where he came from and what his life was all about. It just, it does bring that closure and his mom is just such a wonderful lady and did so much for him and he loved her so much. And just talking with her and seeing how much she loves Love a Child and is so grateful for the work that, that we put in to John Robert. It's, it's really amazing. It's so sad that he is gone, but to know that he's just rejoicing right now, oh, it just makes things so much better. It, it makes things so much better.